humans could finally jump off the Space Coast's launch pads next year, restoring the nation's manned space flight capabilities as they join three dozen other missions unscrewed from Florida's spaceport. A joint strike force from the SpaceX, Boeing, United Launch Alliance and NASA organizations is advancing manned test launches to the International Space Station from the Kennedy Space Center and the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station as part of the commercial crew program from NASA in the second half of next year. If schedules are maintained, SpaceX will launch a two-person team in August on a Falcon 9 rocket and a crew dragon ship from KSC's famous 39A launch pad a feat unseen since the space shuttle Atlantis took off with astronauts in July of 2011. Boeing intends to put a couple of humans in space with their Starliner capsule in November, but instead they will receive a boost on the ULA Atlas V rocket from the 41 complex at Cape's launch. But flying humans in a spaceship is a difficult and dangerous issue, and the delays of missions with crew until 2019 are extremely possible and even probable. However, Launch fans still have a lot to look forward to as they are preparing unscrewed test flights. Both SpaceX and Boeing plan to launch their capsules to the space station next year to gather data and experience before embarking on missions with all of the people on board. The two point to April and August, respectively, for automated tests. The missions with and without crew are part of a major manifesto of up to 36 launches in 2018, Brig of the Air Force. General Wayne Motef, commander of the 45th Space Wing and director of the Eastern Range, told Florida Today. That would comfortably surpass the 19 launch operations admitted this year, although originally expected up to 32. Next year's projections include some classified Trident missiles launched from submarines, and delays due to hardware problems or mission requirements could also deflate the total.